Welcome to So Chic TV. To start this cage bra tutorial, you're gonna need a bra and some elastic. This is a very cheap $3.95 bra I got from Walmart, and the elastic is also extremely inexpensive. What I started doing was pinning the elastic in place where I wanted it, and then cutting out my pieces. So I'm gonna cut this piece, and then I'm gonna take it off so that I can measure the other piece the exact same size. Now don't get scared, what you're looking at is one piece of elastic that I pinned down in the middle and on the bra straps. And now I'm going to keep building on this design until I get a design that I like. I can post a picture of my design below for y'all to grab some inspiration. I'm doing the same thing, pinning it in the places that I want it. this piece in the middle if you are going to do the same design make sure you leave enough leftover elastic to fold over behind those straps that it is coming over the top of so that it looks really neat when you're finished sewing it now that the design has been pinned correctly I'm going to take this off and adjust it to my body and then I'm going to hand stitch the straps in place this is the easiest way to do it as you see, I'm just doing a basic threading going front to back on the bra cups and I'm going to do the same thing on the bra straps. Try to make your stitches as neat as possible and do not rush this process. Hand stitching is actually pretty therapeutic and a lot of fun. Just grab some snacks and some water and get to stitching. Aside from neatness, the most important thing to think of when stitching is getting those knots at the end like I am now and making sure it's secure enough to withstand wear and wash. This is the final sewn product. This is sure to look really good in a dress or in an off the shoulder sweater this fall. Stay tuned to So Chic TV for more DIY and sewing tutorials.